Ebony Obsidian can currently be seen in the Tyler Perry produced BET show Sistas and is appearing in this amazing new Amazon series, Hunters, starring Al Pacino, but I think it's starring Ebony. Hi, Ebony, welcome. <laughs> Hi, thank <laughs> nice, you so much for having me. Nice to have you here. Tell me about that process of, of getting a role mm -hmm. on a show like Hunters with mm -hmm. a guy like Al Pacino. Yeah, I know. You know, when I was auditioning for it, I didn't know that he was attached to the project. Um, and I was auditioning for it for a bit. Mm -hmm. And then when I got it, I was so excited because I just, I remember reading the first script, not knowing Jordan Peele was attached, just being like, I'm just gonna read this script and see how I like the story. And it was incredible. I mean, when you can read a script, when you can see, see the images, mm -hmm. I think that's kind of an indication you're on the right track and you should fight for that role. So, Tell yeah. me about the role. What, what, what do you do in, the, in, the, in, this, in, in this series? Yeah, yeah so as you know, Hunters is a, is a badass show, but at the same time, there's a lot of characters in it who are kind of um, a very grounded presence. Yeah. And so I play Carol. I'm the next door neighbor of Jonah, who is our main character. Mm -hmm. At the beginning of the series, he um, loses his grandmother in a very, very violent way. Mm -hmm. And so, his arc is really unraveling her life and her history and also learning who and what she was doing in her final days. And in that, he gets connected with the Hunters. Oh, okay. And my whole thing is, here you are, you just lost your grandmother, you, you know, you're going through something, but you're also changing in a way I can't really like nail down, you know what I mean? Yeah. What's going on? So that's Carol's arc in this. You have such a great spirit. I, Thank I just you. I love talking to you. This is fantastic. Now <laughs> in, in, in Sisters it's a much different vibe. Oh, yeah. Because Tyler Perry's all about fun and, and making drama, fun and, 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 yes. and yeah, it's like he's juxtaposing all these things. Yes. Tell me what that's like to work on Sisters. So so different, but interestingly enough I actually shot parts of both of the shows at the same time. How do you do that? You switch, switch, switch. You do that. That's <laughs> switch, what you switch, do. Switch. Yeah. yeah, so we were in Atlanta for Sisters and I was in um, Brooklyn, New York for Hunters. Yeah. Um, but Sisters is so different. First of all, I'm playing a 36-year-old woman in um, Sisters versus like an 18-year-old in Hunters. So that's already wow. completely different people. Wow, that's people. some range, yeah. Right, right. Um, and it's, it's about relationships. It's about... Um, learning what you deserve and, and trying to nail that down as well. I play Karen. I own a salon. Me. I'm kind of getting over a toxic, you know, ex and that <laughs> kind of keeps popping up. And at the same time, there are some new opportunities and new people in my life that I'm just trying to sort out. So it's a lot of drama. It's a lot of confusion, of course. Um, but I think a lot of us go through that. A lot of women, Normal especially. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're trying to figure out, you know, which direction if I go this way, this can lead to so many different things, or vice versa, the other direction. Choose your ending. Choose your ending, <laughs> Choose you know. Your path, you but never we don't know, know exactly. We don't know. So right. let's talk about your beginnings. Where okay. did it start for you? Were you the little girl in, in the family that was always like, I, I've got something to show off, or were, or were you more timid? Yeah. You know what's so funny? I was such a shy child. Really? But going home and like, you know, seeing family and, and family friends, they tell me stories and I, then I remember when they tell me, <laughs> they're like, no, 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 you would like perform in the living room <laughs> and do different things and your favorite movie scenes and sing. I was always a singer growing up as well. Ah. So I love performing. I think I was just very shy for a long time to be in front of audiences. And so it took me some time, but I think around like my early teens, I really decided that I wanted to uh, pursue learning how to be good at these things, at so, acting, at, you know. Tell me about your family, because you have a really interesting background. Mm -hmm. And then uh, uh, I'd like to hear a little Mandarin out of you, but let's talk about no, your- No, <laughs> I'm on pause for Mandarin. Like Mandarin is so far back in my brain right now, it's Korean, but um, she, she. listen. Yeah. That's, my, that's the extent of my Mandarin. I've, probably mine too right now at this point. Um, no, so my family, uh, my mother came in the 80s um, from East Africa. She was born in Eritrea. They went to Sudan. They were there for quite some time, um, fleeing the civil war that's Ethiopia and Eritrea. Mm -hmm. And so um, I grew up in a very culture rich household and also among a lot of women who just really worked hard to sustain but also um, achieve. Like my mm -hmm. mother graduated uh, Dean's List from Mayor's College. Like she, just the things that she's been able to accomplish have been like, I can do anything I want to do. So yeah, I've had a really, really culture-rich um, household. What an inspiration! Life. Oh, that's great. Such a, she's my biggest inspiration. And then, and then you get into the business, and you're surrounded by iconic women as well. A hundred percent. So, so yeah. you've had an experience that's that a lot of a lot of young yeah. actors would love. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that experience with some of some perhaps your heroines in your life. Yeah, no, a hundred percent. I mean, a lot of the women that I've worked with, I, I was you know sitting and watching as a child, not knowing at the time that I even <laughs> wanted to be an actor, but just being like, wow, those women are 
massive. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the only way to describe him as massive. Mm -hmm. um, Regina King, Anjanu Ellis, who plays my mother in Bill Street. Um, both of those women during that project were, I think, so instrumental into just further opening me up as an actor, as a woman, too. Mm -hmm being like, it's okay to be your own actor. You know, you're not actually following in our footsteps. You're creating your own footsteps entirely. Like, that was the most beautiful part of that process. Same thing with Master of None, like um, Melina Matsukas, uh, mm -hmm. Lena Waithe, and just such, Angela Bassett, such like strong individuals in this business. Um, it definitely wasn't the plan yeah. <laughs> to uh, work with these giants, but I'm so honored to have done it. Was it wasn't yeah. somebody's plan, and you're the it beneficiary, was, it was God's and, plan. and now they're looking God's up plan. to you, and now yeah. they're in awe of your work, and so great to have you here, and of course, so I'm going to remind people to watch uh, you, uh, uh, the star of Hunters, Ebony <laughs> Obsidian, catch her on Amazon, and of course, uh, you can catch her on Sisters as well. Yeah. Uh, sisters. Sisters. Uh, sisters. You got it, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so Latino, sisters. Uh, well, yeah, we're in LA. <laughs> <laughs> Ebony, great to have you here. Thanks Thank so much for so being much with for us. Thank you so much for having me. Continued success to you. Thank you.